Tiger Lily Squad, what's poppin'? What's poppin'? What? I can't even, come on now. What's poppin'? What's poppin'? What's poppin'? What's poppin'? What's poppin'? What's poppin'? What's Hey, what's poppin'? What's poppin'? What's? Hey, hey, what's poppin'? What's poppin'? Hey, Tiger Lily Squad, how you living? How you breathing? How you feeling? It is your girl, Emmy. Is is me essence of shay so we are about two weeks into the new log journey and there's some uh, there's a couple of things that i started doing when i was loose natural and i want to start sharing those with you um hence why my hair has been more healthier than it was in my first set of locks and not as drying um and damaging so one of the things which i'm going to talk about today but before we get anything started don't forget to like comment and subscribe we say this all the time because it lets the algorithm know that y'all mess with your girl <laughs> that y'all mess with shayski you feel me but anyways let's get right into the video so i wrote some notes because y'all know i get to babylon and see my notes right here um so what i noticed when i first cut my locks is that the middle of my head was just broke like it was break breakage it was sh really short it's growing back it's not the same length as every the rest of my head but it is definitely growing back um and i was very intentional with focusing more on that so i know to do that now um because technically if you notice when you moisturize your hair and stuff you kind of focus more on the front and then the back gets like a little bit of whatever is left over but you really get to massaging the front of your head and you don't realize it till you realize that okay but we're not talking about that in this video in this video we are talking about hard water versus soft water so what i noticed too is that in my shower my skin got like very dry like when i got it was like white patches all over my skin and i was like well if this is doing this to my skin it has to be doing that to my hair which means that it's drying out my scalp which means i'm not gonna grow hair healthy and efficiently so i started looking up like shower filters and you see how the universe works and i'm not even fronting the universe really works aqua home group reached out to me um this is not sponsored but they did gift me and i have been seeing major results hence why we're talking about this now and i have a coupon code for y'all so i leave it in the description box but um basically so let me tell you my notes the hard water is just a bunch of minerals that build up not only in your shower head and causes like rust and whatnot but this can call mineral cause mineral buildup in your hair which prevents your hair from growing and get having that bounce and being healthy and stuff so a lot of times people don't even know that their shower is producing hard water and i'm going to show you guys a test that i do that you can determine if you don't have the strips but we'll get into that but um so if you don't want to purchase a, a filter a shower filter or a water filter or anything you can just go and get the bottles of distilled water and put it in the fridge so that it's cold because cold water you know helps close the cuticles in your hair helps with shininess blah 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 and that is what i use one of the ingredients i use in my um hair mists are distilled water because i know the benefits of it right and um hard water can make your hair feel sticky dull after a while and it kind of goes against the moisturizing products that you're using in your hair right because if you continue to use hard water that just is just built mineral buildup mineral buildup mineral buildup right um 
So I am so happy that Aqua Home Group sent me the shower head. I'm gonna show you guys right now. I'm gonna show you right here. Um, and I have seen a tremendous difference, not only in my skin, it absorbs the moisture moisturizers that I put on my skin. It doesn't dry out my skin anymore. Sometimes I forget to put moisturizer on my skin and it still feels good. But my hair, y'all, I don't use as much product in my hair anymore. I still spray my hair from time to time, and especially now because I colored it and you know color draws out moisture quickly. But um after changing my shower head and having it filtered with soft water, y'all, I'm telling y'all, game changer. So I'm going to show you right now um, how you can go about deciphering if you have hard water or soft water. So in the video, which will appear here, um, I have one cup that has water from my kitchen filled sink and then i have another cup with water from my shower head that's in my bathroom that i exchange and what you do is you just take some uh, dishwashing liquid just a little bit pour it in each and you will see like the bubbles form so in the soft water um there will be a slight amount of bubbles not a lot um, and that's how you know the water is soft. But in the hard water, it becomes just very cloudy almost instantly. Um, so you know which one is which. So then you just, you go from there. So buying a filter is not that expensive. I think this was like low key, like 40 bucks, 49 bucks. So that was just the shower head, but I know the sink um, I'm not, I don't want to lie. So I don't, but I don't think it to be more than a hundred bucks. At least I don't think it is. Maybe it is. I have no idea. Which I don't know. But you guys should definitely invest in the shower. We're always in the shower. We got to shower and clean our thing. Yeah, clean our thing. And wash our hair. So why not? If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Once again, I would like to thank Aqua Home Group for gifting me with that fabulous shower head, child. When I tell you she powerful, mm, she powerful, but she gets the job done. And I'm going to leave the coupon code in the description box below so you can get yours today. And let me know, have you guys ever thought about hard water? I mean, that's the secret that a lot of people don't really talk about, but you know, I'm your sis. <laughs> so if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you later, Tiger Lily. Bye. Uh, crash course. Let me hide the money in the dashboard. Max mad, could you lost the brick inside the Porsche? Goofy with the